What's going on guys, my name is Eli. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a sports content creator out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how I color grade and color my videos. Now just a disclaimer, I do not claim to be a pro colorist or anything like that. So this is just how I color grade my videos. I do think I am pretty good at it, um, but that's just my opinion. But first thing first, I just wanna say I will be using a couple LUTs in this video from my personal LUT pack, which will be in the description below if you wanna go pick that up. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, you can pick it up for $20 and they will make your basketball videos look great. Um, so yeah, I'll also be showing you how to color grade them just from scratch with no LUTs in this video. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, using a LUT does help a lot and these have been made specifically for basketball. Uh, I hopefully will come out with a football one soon or just any outdoor sport in general. Uh, but these are for indoor sports, uh, specifically basketball. Now, I do shoot on a Sony mirrorless camera. I shoot on the Sony a7 IV. And the reason that is important is because I shoot an S-Log3 10-bit color. Now, 10-bit color is important because it gives you a way broader like spectrum of colors uh, compared to 8-bit. So when you try to manipulate the colors, it doesn't break down as much. Um, so yeah, that's why it's important to shoot in 10-bit color uh, compared to 8-bit color and also S-Log3. Now you can shoot an S-Log3 or S-Log2, but S-Log3 gives you the most dynamic range. I used to shoot an S-Log2, uh, but I switched over to S-Log3 and I just think it looks a little bit better. Um, but I also have a couple of LUTs in my pack for flat picture profiles, like no picture profile or even like HLG or something like that. So if you don't shoot an S-Log3, don't worry, you can still use my LUTs. And even if you don't use a Sony camera, the LUTs will still work. You might just have to tweak them just a little bit, which I'll show you how you can do. So yeah, we're going to go and hop right into uh, Premiere right here, which is where I color grade all of my videos. Now, first things first is you're going to want to bring up the Lumetri Scopes tab, as you can see right here, and you're going to want to bring up the Lumetri Color tab. Now, I'm going to color grade this first video just using my LUT. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to your project. You're going to make a new adjustment layer. Um, just keep the settings the same and you're going to drag it over your clip. So you're going to want to apply it to an adjustment layer so that you can actually uh, use it over the whole video instead of having to do it for each individual clip when you have multiple clips. So let me bring the scopes back up. I usually uh, color grade on two monitors, but I'm all obviously recording on my other monitor, so I'm just doing it all on one. But you can make it as big or small as you'd like. Come over here to basic correction, and I'm actually going to go to my LUT pack. So I think it's just literally called LUTs and basketball LUTs. Now this is the actual LUT pack that you can get from my Gumroad store. Like I said, link in the description. Now you're gonna go over to log profile picture LUTs and I have six LUTs that you can use right here. Now straight up, you can see how much better that already looks. This gives you like that. Um, like if you don't like this look, obviously you can tweak it. You can mess with the temperature. Um, you can lower the contrast you can raise the contrast but straight out of the pack i think it, i really like this look i use this look a lot in a lot of my videos um but yeah if you don't like this look there are other ones you can use you can go in here um i have this one right here like i said just gives you a little bit of different look a little bit brighter a little more blue um we can go ahead and use this number three one right here this is a little bit of a warmer LUT now if it's too warm for you like I said just come over here to temperature and go ahead uh, throw that on there and you get that like creative look now if you want it to just look like straight how it came straight out of the camera uh, with no like S log or anything you can just apply a rec 709 conversion LUT which I will show you in a minute all of these LUTs come with rec 709 conversion so you don't have to worry about that um, but like I said, I'll show you how to do it from scratch. This is a little less saturated look right here. And then we got the last LUT. Um, I actually really like how this one looks too. And yeah, so these are the six LUTs that you can use. Um, if you do want to go purchase my pack, if I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably say my favorite is number one right here. But we're going to pretend that... I don't actually have a LUT and I'll show you just so you know, I know I'm going to get a question that says, yeah, but can you use these on, you know, on every video, like, or is it just made for one specific lighting or something like that? But I'm going to show you right here that you can actually use these LUTs on many different gyms, all of that. Um, let me go ahead and I'll put this LUT one on right here. As you can see, it looks great. Um, yeah. 
you can see if I turn it off, the difference that that makes right there. Um, and I'll do the same thing to this clip right here. I'm gonna throw a lot one on, and yeah. I mean, it's a night and day difference. Now I'll throw a different light on just to show you that it's not just the first light. There you go, here's a different look. Now see, I personally think that's a little too warm. So all you'd have to do is go adjust the temperature right here. And you can easily fix that with just a click of a button. Um, here's another LUT. Like I said, if you think it's too yellow, you can mess with the tent um, temperature and you can just barely tweak these LUTs and they will look great for you. So let me go ahead and actually take these off. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how I actually would color grade from scratch. So I'm gonna go back to this first clip um, just for the tutorial sake. We're gonna put a new adjustment layer on there. Okay, actually I'll do it on here just cause I already showed you on the first one. So we're gonna go over to browse and you're gonna apply a Rec 709 conversion LUT. Now I actually have this on my computer already. I will put the link to this uh, LUT in the description. It is free. Um, the one I use, I can't remember where I got it from, but um, if you wanna DM me on Instagram for it, I'll be happy to give it to you. But yeah, I use this one right here. So this converts it to Rec 709. So it takes it from S-Log to no picture profile, I guess is kinda how uh, I would explain it. Now, the first thing that I want to do, like I said, let me pull up the scopes. And this is important because this shows you up here is going to be your whites and your highlights. So if they hit up here, that means they are clipping and that means it's pure white. If they hit zero, that means that they are pure black. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to just up the contrast as much as you want, but also look at the scopes. So I'm actually going to put this up to 150. Now I can already tell right off the bat that the temperature is a little off, so I'm gonna just barely adjust it, put it like one, and then same with the tent, I'm gonna barely adjust that tent. So that's already looking a lot better as you can see. So next thing I'm gonna do, exposure. I think the exposure is actually pretty good. Um, highlights, I'm gonna bring those down just a tad. And then shadows, I'm going to also bring those down just a tad. So you can see what that does right there. Whites is pretty much the same thing as the shadows and highlights. It'll just take your whites and make them either brighter or darker. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good for just the basic correction. Now, next thing I like to do is go into my, not creative, my curves. So. Hue and saturation curves, this is where all the magic is done. I'm gonna go into hue versus hue, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a point in between red and yellow, which is orange, which is the color of the skin tones. Now what you could also do is take this eyedropper tool and click on the color, but I already know what the skin tones are. So you can see I'm just adjusting those skin tone colors. Um, I'm gonna make them a little more like magenta, because I think that looks best. And then what I can also do is make those same points up here on the hue versus saturation. And you can see, you can make them more or less saturated. Now, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit less saturated, not too much. <clears throat> and then what I'm also gonna do is adjust my greens. So I'm gonna go make two points on the side of my greens. And you see, I can adjust the color of those greens right here. So I like how that looks. I'm gonna go mess with the saturation. Like there's no right or wrong way to do it. It really is just um, up to you, personal preference. So yeah, color wise, I think that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna make another point for his jersey. And same with the saturation. So you can see I made his jersey a lot more red there. So, so far this is the progress that we have made from S-Log3 um, to our actual um, color now hue versus luma this is how bright it'd be so if i wanted his jersey to be brighter i could use the luma or darker uh i might make his jersey a little darker actually i kind of look how like how that looks and i might also make the greens just a little bit darker um, okay yeah i like how that looks so Next, we're gonna go into my RGB curves. Now RGB curves is where you can really give it that creative look. 
um, if you want a really contrasty look or not. So I make three points just like that. And this first one, I'm gonna drag down until you can see over here in my uh, Lumetri scopes that on my histogram, it's not touching zero. So none of the blacks are clipping, even though it may look like it on here, um, none of the blacks are clipping. This is why you use the scopes because the human eye, you can't always see it perfectly, especially on a monitor where there's color shift, which almost every monitor has. You're never gonna have it perfect. Um, and then obviously I'm gonna bring my whites up a little bit and you can see none of those are clipping either. Um, and then if you want, you can bring this up and it introduces like that less contrasty look at, uh, let's go of a lot of that contrast. But I kind of like how this uh, really contrasty look looks. Actually, I'll bring it up a little bit. It just makes it look like it has a little bit of grain in it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I like to do as far as the curves go. Now, HSL secondary, what you can do, um, I'm actually not gonna do it for this clip, but you can select just the greens and you can hit this. Uh, you can select just the greens and then I'm not like I said I'm not gonna do it on this clip because it doesn't need it but you can basically just adjust how the greens look but I'm not gonna do that so yeah that's pretty much the final grade for this clip right here um, I actually really like how that looks we can watch it through and yeah I like how that looks now I do think it is actually a tad bit warm so what I can do is come up here to color and I'm just gonna lower that a little bit and maybe lower the saturation just a tad. So I think I like how this looks right here. But if you don't like it, obviously you can do whatever you want, adjust however you want. That is the beauty of color grading. So I'm actually gonna do this clip also right here for you guys. So, like I said, you're going to start with the S-Log3 to Rec 709 conversion. And then, first thing I like to do is just raise up that contrast as much as you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a temperature adjustment. So that's already starting to look a lot better in my opinion. Temperature and tint is really important when it comes to color grading. Now, saturation, I'm not going to touch that for right now. but highlights I'm gonna bring those up just a tad shadows I'm gonna bring those down just a tad and then I'm actually gonna leave my whites and blacks uh, how they are so next we're gonna go into my curves like I said I'm gonna go to hue and saturation curves and the first thing you always want to do is skin tones always make sure you get your skin tones looking right so I actually love how that looks and then I'm gonna, let's see, just drag these out a little bit. Okay, yeah, I like how that looks. Now, the blue and the bleachers in the background, I actually wanna change how that looks too. So what I'm gonna do is take this pen tool and I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and make a point so I can change like the color of how these blues look. So I wanna look more turquoise just like that. And then I can do the same thing for the saturation. I can make them more or less saturated. I'm also going to do that for this red right here. So I'm going to make it a little more saturated. I'm going to change the hue just a little bit. Okay, I'm liking how that looks so far. Now, I might also mess with his shoes a little bit, see if I can mess with that. See, you can, I mean, you can literally change the color as much as you want. Um, Saturation is also going to do a lot for this. Okay, I like how that looks. So, we're going to go into my RGB curves now, and I'm just going to make a slight S curve, which is always the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Um... So yeah, you can see this is what we've done so far. I actually forgot to make an adjustment layer, which I know I just told you guys to do. So if you do actually forget to do that, what you can do is go over to effect controls. Um, I can control C on this Lumetri color. Um, let me just make sure I have copied that. There, I can go to project. I can add my adjustment layer. And I can control V down there and just get rid of um, 
get rid of the lumetri color effect on my actual clip. So if I go here, let's see. Okay, I'm really liking how that looks. Now, last thing I'm gonna do is go back to my color and I'm just gonna mess with the temperature just a little bit more. And same with saturation. Now, if you bring saturation up, you can see those yellows from the lights really start to come in. So I think I really like how that less saturated look looks. So there you go. That is the final grade for this clip. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about color grading or my LUT pack, anything like that, just drop them in the comments. You can also DM me on Instagram. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can on there. Um, that's probably the quickest way to get in touch with me though. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if this helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and I'll be posting more tutorials, whatever you want to see. Just let me know in the comments and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.